Uh, Marcus, uh, with uh, with how much pressure Matt was getting on Sunday, was there a lot he could have done to alleviate that? Uh, it, it looked like it was pretty quick in most cases. Um, there was a lot of times where the ball was out quick. Um, you know, we weren't. There was times where we weren't even trying to push the ball down the field, and um, we're just giving up pressure too too quick. I agree. Nate Atkins. Uh, Frank mentioned that you know last week was a little bit difficult just with the injuries to to Pittman and Pierce and finding out kind of late in the week and making adjustments, but that's going to happen sometimes in the NFL. So uh, what what do your receivers need to do and, and what do you guys need to do as a staff to kind of get this ready so that you know a shutout loss like you had in Jacksonville never happens again? Right. Uh, I mean, nobody ever wants to shut out um, no matter who we're playing. Um, but I mean, we we got to play better. That's really what it's about. We did not we did not play well um, on Sunday. Um, yes, we did have some challenges as far as planning on who was in, who was out um, going in, and we had to make some adjustments Saturday. Um, once we found out Pitt was not going to be available, um, but I mean that's part of the business. That's part of the NFL. It's going to happen, and um, you know it's on it's on us coaches to you know still get our guys ready to play on Sunday morning. George Bremer. Marcus, during the evaluation this week, I mean, obviously can't get into specifics, but have there been changes considered on the offensive line on the makeup of that unit? Um, right now, no. Um, I mean, we're, we're still evaluating it. Um, and when that decision comes, I mean, you guys will see it. But um, as of now, we're, we're preparing for Kansas City. Kimbo. Marcus, um, if at all, have you seen Frank change or I don't know maybe alter his leading style based off how last season it is and the start to this year you guys have not really had a rut like this in in your tenure um, as a coaching staff have you seen anything change from him over the last few weeks I'm saying we haven't had a rut like this yeah like I, you know, I've lost three I guess three losses in a tie in the last four um no I mean he's he's the same guy uh um He's very consistent in, in the message, and um, the players feed off of that. The coaching staff feeds off the consistency, um, you know, and it's just on us, um, our responsibility, um, you know, to, to get it done, and we just got to perform better. Joel Erickson. Uh, on, on the protection, Frank said that there were some things that got home that normally you guys uh, in the past have been able to stop. Why well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you, as you saw, um, we struggled a lot, quite a bit with the twist game, and that's definitely something that we are going to um, work on this week. Um, we've we've done well doing that before, um, but Jacksonville, I mean, give them credit. They they, they did well. I mean, they, those guys, that front four got after us, um, and we got to be better up front. Was there was there stuff that they were doing that they hadn't shown or just, just on you guys not, not picking it up or diagnosing? No, it wasn't nothing. Nothing new. I mean, it's what we expected. We, we expected a, a good pass rush from those guys um, for, from that front. We expected some twist game. Um, we just didn't get it done.